And by the way, creativity should not be limited to artists, whatever artists means. Every life should be creative. I gotta tell you a great story. There was a woman at Beis Chana 40 years ago. She was a classical dancer. She had trained from the time she was two. And she was good. Until at the age of 23, she got into a car accident and her dancing career was over. She was shattered. Not so much by the fact that she couldn't dance, but by the senselessness of it. 20 years of discipline, practice, and effort, and devotion, and now all of a sudden it's all gone. It just didn't make sense to her. And that really disturbed her terribly. And she ran around asking people to explain this. Why would God do this? How should, how should she live with this? And nobody could come up with an answer. She came, she came from a very holy, Svartic family. Traditionally, her family was already not observant. But the history of their family was, one night she had a dream. Her grandfather came to her in the dream. And he just looked at her and said, live your life the way you were taught to dance. And she had her answer. She was, she was ecstatic. It was not a waste of time. Live your life the way you were taught to dance. The harmony, the balance, all these things are not limited to a stage or to a performance. That's life. So everyone should be dancing through life. Everyone should live gracefully. Everyone should live in harmony. That's life. A bacher sitting in yeshiva should be an artist. The art of learning, the art of understanding, the art of study. So we should have a year of creativity, a year of originality, which means sincerity, which means truthfulness. And all of this beauty that we add to the world should overwhelm the ugliness in the world and the tension in the world and the inharmonious aspects of the world until the world is ready to be a keili for the ultimate light. And a keili means no resistance. Partner with Rabbi Friedman. Visit itsgoodtoknow.org forward slash support.